What's going on, craft beer lovers? Today I am uh, demoing, let's say, the Hazy-ish IPA by Avery. That is not a misspeak, that is the Hazy-ish IPA. Let's take a look at this can, learn a little bit about what's inside before we test it out. It's got the classic Avery. I love their designs. Uh, this one has their three words. that they, they use like three different words to describe each beer that aren't the exact typical words you'd expect. These ones say inspired, expressive, and abstract. Let's give them points for the most useless beer description you've ever read in your entire life. I say that lovingly because I do really enjoy Avery ales. I am uh, really interested in everything they're doing. I've had some of the very best stouts of my life from Avery. Um, I've, uh, I, I think of them as an extreme, sort of an extreme brewery. Uh, you know, a lot of their the IPAs you'll find on their shelf, a lot of the beers you'll find on the shelf from Avery are pushing the 10% ABV or higher. They've, of course, got their double-digit uh, hazy IPA, which I'll, I'll spoil a little bit. I like slightly better than this one, except that 10% that ABV makes it sort of undrinkable in the kind of situations I usually want <laughs> Usually want an IPA. This hazy-ish IPA, a little more moderate at 7%, but even then, you see what I mean? It's like 7% is about the limit that you would want a hazy IPA at. Why do you drink a hazy IPA? It's because you're looking for something refreshing, juicy, and maybe even tropical, citrusy, and uh, so, you know, I think it's no, no coincidence that a lot of the best hazy IPAs are more at the 6.5%. Maybe I'm splitting hairs, maybe not. But 7% is at the outer limits of what I consider an IPA before it starts heading into double IPA territory. Maybe that's just me. Uh, you've seen the can design. I, mean, is, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it's pretty. I love the color schemes, uh, which I'm colorblind, kind of, but I would describe this as sort of gold and white colors, which are great blend. I think there's like an, a face buried in there somewhere, like an eye over here or something. Uh, this guy canned uh, December, excuse me, uh, November 12th of last year, but it's also only the third day of 2021. So we're looking at a beer that's less than 68, 60 days since it was canned. It says the hazy-ish IPA brewed with Rocky Mountain water. That just t sounds good already. Rocky Mountain Water, Malted Barley, Malted Wheat, Flaked Oats, Hops, four varieties, Simcoe, Amarillo, Azaka, and Mosaic, and Yeast. So what's the most information you get there? It's about the four types of hops used, Simcoe, Amarillo, Azaka, and Mosaic. Um, not the hops I usually associate with a hazy IPA. I, I feel like I see a lot more Citra, I see the Galaxy, I see the Motueka, or however you say that. I don't see as much like... Um, Simcoe hazies or Amarillo hazies, uh, maybe I'm, maybe I just don't know. I'm still learning. In any event, it's a pretty, it's a pretty looking can. To me, it has a lot of shelf appeal. Uh, I love hazy IPAs. I love the IPA style. Uh, this is not my first of these beers. This is the last of a six pack. I thought I needed to do a review before I finished it because spoiler number two, I'm probably not buying another sixer uh, of these. They're not a bad beer. I'll get that out right at the front. It's just I feel spoiled for choice when it comes to hazy IPAs, and this one's not doing it for me. It's a good beer. I would. I think it's a very, very good beer. On draft, it would probably be even better. But when I'm craving a hazy IPA, maybe that's why they call it the hazy-ish IPA. If I'm craving a hazy IPA, I want something juicier and uh, maybe a little lower ABV. Anyway, uh, I did want to crack it open before I finish this six pack and uh, do a, a quick review of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack it open, I'm gonna pour it as I always do, and then I'm gonna grab a couple pictures from my Instagram at Craft Christian Reviews. You go find me over on Instagram and I'll come back and finish the review, okay? So let's pour this sucker, see what it looks like. Pale gold, nice head. This is a, I think it's a very uh, pretty looking beer. Very pretty little hazy IPA, not the haziest. All right, let me get some pictures. BRB. All right, we got this nice looking beer. Uh, it's it's quite nice looking. I mean, um, pale, kind of straw, hazy straw gold. This is making it look a little more orange than it is. Um, it smells like beer. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, what am I talking about? It smells like beer. Like some beers don't really smell like beer. But this one smells beery. With 
Yeah, like some fruit overtones. I've always said I'm not the greatest at describing the smells, the taste, the colors. That's not what I specialize in. I'm talking about the experience here. And it's a very refreshing looking beer. The pour, it looks good. I mean, there's a reason I finished the six pack without struggling. I'm excited about it. It looks relaxing. I've had a kind of a long day so far. You know, it's weird. My first instinct is it almost has like, it almost reminds me in some ways of a, of a lager. And I think that's why I'm not getting another, another pack of this. It almost feels, it almost tastes and feels like a lager in the first half of the sit to me. And I don't really like lagers. The second sip, I notice a little more of the fruit. The fruit taste kind of comes out in the second half of the of the aftertaste, and then when I'm sipping more, it leads into the next sip, and so it gets a little sweeter, a little more fruity. It'd be hard. I'd be hard pressed to tell you what fruits I'm tasting. I always want to say like banana, pineapple, uh, but very you know mellow in the background. Obviously, it's all just done with hops. So if you're an IPA fiend like me, you know that. The descriptions of fruits can get a little out of hand when really it's just varieties of hops giving like undertones of, of fruity tastes. It's actually um, almost a little thinner than I would expect. Uh, the the mouthfeel feels a little thinner, like a slippery little drink. Um, it's easy to drink. 7% doesn't make it difficult. Uh, I don't taste a lot of alcohol. I do not taste bitterness. Very low bitterness IPA, in my opinion. Almost a little bit of like tangerine or something. It's not the most tropical ever. It's just got like a little bit of a sweet fruit taste to it. It's just sort of underwhelming to me. Nothing against Avery. I've said before, I really, really love the Avery Brewery. Really look forward to their stuff. Always excited to try. And I, I this has not changed my opinion, but... It's just the thing is, I've had so many uh, hazy IPAs lately that are just 11 out of 10 quality. Uh, the B52 uh, IPAs have been so good. And um, the, uh, the McConaughey's IPA, just so good. So I feel like I'm spoiled, and this one is just not living up to those top tier. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's good. It's refreshing. It's actually slightly better than I remember. But the fact that it's kind of... Um, Got this kind of unexciting, lagery, reminds me of a lager up front. I just don't see any reason to get another six-pack of it. So um, I'm trying to do more reviews in 2021 because my fridge is still stocked. And I feel a little bad because I spent two weeks where I just drank for myself and didn't really share anything I'd learned. Uh, I had some great beers, but I wasn't really spreading the wealth at all in any sort of way. So I'm trying to do more of those. If you like this kind of content, uh, give me a thumbs up, especially a subscribe or leave a comment. If you have any thoughts, if you think my review is trash, if you think I'm on point, if you have any other Avery beers that you like, any other top hazy IPAs you like, uh, I want to know about that in the comments. Let me know. And like I said, go find me on Instagram at Craft Christian Reviews on Instagram. I love taking the photos over there, and I feel like the community for craft beer on Instagram is excellent. So uh, check this one out. I uh, Actually, you know what? I wouldn't recommend you check this one out. Go find another hazy IPA with a little more character. Sorry, Avery. Uh, I love you guys. But uh, if you like this kind of content, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, and hope you're enjoying your new year. 2021, baby. See you in the next one.